Next, we're going to talk about using the super keyword to call methods in a superclass. Some important facts about using the super keyword. We can use the super keyword to call methods in a superclass that have been overridden in the subclass. Super can also be used in a constructor to call a constructor in the superclass. We won't learn about this second use right now. We have two sample classes. The first is the car class. Here, we define the method apply brakes, and here, we define the method check surroundings. The second class, self driving car, is a subclass of car. Here, instead of inheriting apply brakes from car, we override it. And here, instead of inheriting check surroundings from car, we override it. Emergency override is a new method unique to self driving car. Inside the emergency override method, there is a call to super.applyBrakes. This is instructing Java to call the applyBrakes method from the superclass car, even if there is an overridden version of the method in the self driving car class. We're going to look at three different method calls. The three examples may feel a bit redundant, but it's important to understand how the rules apply in each circumstance. Now let's add a new class highway. Highway isn't in an inheritance relationship with either car or self-driving car. In Highway's main method, we create a variable called Ford Mustang and initialize it with a new instance of the car class. Next, we create a variable called Kit and initialize it with a new instance of the self-driving car class. Finally, we call the method apply brakes from the variable Ford Mustang. Ford Mustang is pointing at a car object, so we don't even need to think about the self-driving car class. We call apply brakes. It outputs driver applies brakes. It calls another method check surroundings. It outputs driver checks surroundings, and the program completes. Let's look at the country road class. The first two lines in the main method are the same. We declare and initialize the Ford Mustang and kit variables. This time, on the third line, we call apply brakes from the kit variable. We have two possible apply brake methods we might call. Looking back at the earlier code, we see that kit is pointing at a self driving car object, so we'll use the most recent version of that method, which is in the self driving car class. Java outputs computer applies brakes. Next, the method calls another method, check surroundings. Again, there are two different versions of the called method. Since kit points at a self driving car object, we'll use the most recent version of check surroundings, which is in the self driving car class. Java outputs computer check surroundings, and the program completes. Let's look at a third example. Again, we have the variables Ford Mustang and kit. Here, we call emergency override from kit. The emergency override call is unique to the self-driving car class. First, Java outputs driver takes control. Next, there is a call to super.applyBrakes. Kit is pointing at a self-driving car object, but super means we want to call the apply brakes method in the super class car. Java outputs driver applies brakes. Next, a call to check surroundings. This frequently confuses programmers because they assume, since they are already up in the superclass car, they'll stay there and use car's version of check surroundings. However, let's use the same criteria that we used in the last two examples. Kit is pointing at a self-driving car object, so we're going to use the most recent version of check surroundings. That version is in the self-driving car class. Java outputs computer check surroundings, and the program completes. There's two important things to remember. First, in this context, super specifically looks in the superclass to call a method. Second, by default, Java uses the most recently overridden version of a method based on the object type. If you want to keep learning, click on the thumbnail for the next video. Otherwise, check out the full Java playlist. See you soon.